right, so I'm doing this half up, half down today. This is my first attempt. I already braided my hair and sectioned it out, so I'll just explain it really quickly. I did my half up. I basically split it kind of in half. I wanted not too much hair on the top, but enough so that the back didn't have to be braided too much because I really don't braid my hair that much, especially for something like this. I don't even know the last time I did a sew in, honestly. So I put this part for the half up. Before I did my braids, I washed and blow dried my hair. So this half up, half down part right here is pressed and flat ironed. I did this part that's gonna go over the hair that I sew in. And then I did some braids and sewed up the loose ends. So yeah, this is how it looks. I did not even look at it yet. It actually does not look bad. Okay. Mind you, I didn't look when I braided my hair at all. And I really don't braid my hair myself. So yeah, this is what my braid pattern looks like. I started on this side and I just braided straight down and then took the tail and added it to the next braid. I did that all the way to the end and then sewed it across at the bottom. Um, like I said, I did these just by feeling. I didn't actually look at them. So I think that they came out okay for me not looking at my head at all. Um, this is how I braid my hair for under my wigs also because I've been doing it myself. This is the hair that I left to go over my uh tracks that i'm gonna put so all i'm gonna do now is sew this up with some hair but this is my braid pattern i didn't look or have anybody to part for me so excuse my parting and yeah this is my first time doing this so the hair i'm gonna be using i have worn previously i've done like some ponytails and stuff with it it is from Bratz Glam Hair Company. I'll leave their information down below. I have used their hair before. They are local in Vegas. So yeah, shout outs to them. I'll leave the info below. All I'm going to do is go through and sew in my hair right now. Yeah, hopefully it comes out good. I'm probably going to double up the tracks. I'm just going to go from the bottom to the top. So yeah, wish me luck. I have some pre-threaded needles, so we're going to get it in. Hopefully this doesn't take that long because I am trying to go somewhere, so... Let's try it. So I am using a curved needle and I did a whole bunch of pre-threaded needles before I started. I'm starting at the bottom and just sewing my hair in, just trying to make it as secure as I possibly can. So I started with single tracks, meaning just one row at a time. Then when I got a little bit higher, I started doubling the tracks because I wanted to use as much hair as I can. I believe that I used two to a little bit to two and a half three bundles i wanted the back to be as full as possible but i had a lot of this hair so i just used as much as i possibly could i wasn't really looking when i was sewing like i said earlier too i wasn't looking when i braided it i'm kind of just doing this all based on a feel so um as you can see i'm checking in the mirror a little as i go There was a few times that the thread actually got tangled and knotted so I had to go in and cut it and kind of restart but like I said I'm not really watching while I'm doing it I'm just feeling it out and then ever so often I'll stop and check the mirror I'm just trying to get the tracks as high as I can so it can cover all the braids like I said before this is my first time attempting this kind of style on myself or in general so I just sewed it as high up as I could and then I went ahead and tied a knot in the thread and now you just see me cutting it and I'm just going to remove the extra part of the weft. Once I do that, I'm just going to unbraid my leave out that I'm going to put over these tracks 
and I'm just going to smooth it all out and brush it out like I said I've used this hair prior all I did was wash it to get it ready and air dry it for this style so I'm going to smooth out the weave I'm unbraiding my hair smooth it out um, I ended up kind of flat ironing my hair just to blend it but um it blended actually really well with this hair i usually don't have a problem blending my hair in i try not to put as much heat on it but if i do need to put heat on it just to blend it out really quickly i will do that so as you can see without it being styled it actually still looks pretty good i am taking a boar bristle brush and just smoothing my hair even more and just trying to blend everything really good i think it came out really good though for my first time as you can see, we looking good so far. Okay, so all I'm doing now is going through to style. I am wand curling the half down portion and then I am just putting some pins to hold them into place. When I pin curl my hair, I find that it just makes the curls last a little longer because they kind of form the curl as they cool off. So once you let it down, it just kind of sticks a little better. I went through my whole head and did curls. I just kind of fast forwarded through that part because it's pretty self-explanatory. So then after that, I'm going in and doing my edges. So like I said, I pressed and flat on my hair. My hair is natural, so I don't want to use like too much just gel, which that's mostly what I had on me was gel. So I used some gel and some other products just to try to do my baby hairs. I didn't want them to curl up too much, but I want them to be like really popping. You know, I need these newborns to be on fleek, period. Okay, so I am about done smoothing the half of part. I wanted it to be as sleek as possible, but once again, I didn't want my hair to revert back to its natural state or have like any texture in it. So I didn't want to put any gel. So I'm just like really smoothing it and taking my time. Then I'm going to, you know, wrap it up with a little hair wrap and, you know, get your little swig of your wine. So this part was actually the most difficult, like, I should have just made time to do the real wrap that you do when you're doing like an extended ponytail, but I didn't have time, so I thought this was going to be faster, child. Look, Jesus. So I took the rest of the hair that I had and I was just kind of wrapping it around, like not using any glue or anything like that or not sewing it, and I was just using bobby pins, but of course you got to make sure it's thick enough and then you have to make sure you can't see the center part, like the bun. So it came out a little funky and it honestly took way longer than it needed to. <laughs> so excuse that. But like I said, if you guys want to see like how you do an extended ponytail, which is what you would do on this top part, let me know in the comments. I can show you. I'm sure you can look it up also. So once I wrapped a few tracks around the bun, I just went and got a piece from the back, wrapped it around the base of the bun so you can't see any tracks. And then I took the hair and wand curled it just like the rest of the hair. Took all the pins out. And then hallelujah, we had a style. So the wrapping part with the pins, that, you know, we could have done without that. But um, in my next, one of my next ponytail videos, I'll show you guys how to wrap it correctly. And then I'll link it down below. Let me know if you guys want to see that. 
And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will be right back with the finished look. So this is the finished look. I did my ponytail part a little sloppy because I'm in a rush and I have places to go, people to see, and places to be, okay? So yeah, that's that on that, but I could take it out and rewrap it, which is what I plan to do. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.